Thank you for joining us for Health Talks. I'm Gail Hogan, and Dr. Carla Contreras is here to tell us about melanoma treatment research that focuses on a flu vaccine. This is fascinating to me, Doctor. Welcome. Thank you. Let's talk about this new research that you're leading that a flu vaccine could actually help in treating melanoma. How does it work? So we think that melanoma is regulated heavily by the immune system. So in normal, healthy people, um, there are probably cancer cells that start growing and then the immune system recognizes them as being bad, attacks them, and we don't have to deal with that. Unfortunately, there are times when the cancer cells are not recognized appropriately by the immune system, and then that cancer can continue to grow. Melanoma is one of those diseases, and we think that the flu vaccine may help stimulate the immune system or make it more active such that the immune system is better able to recognize and kill off melanoma cells. Is this work for all melanoma patients or would it be used for all melanoma patients? That's exactly what we're trying to figure out with our research study, which is funded by Pelotonia. So in our study, we're looking at both safety and side effects in patients with early stage melanoma and patients with more advanced stage melanoma. Advanced stage melanoma can be thought of melanoma that's either spread to places where we can't or we shouldn't um, operate first versus treating with medical therapy, or that it's just too large to reasonably treat with surgery alone. And so we often start with medication followed by surgery. So how do you treat advanced melanoma as compared to someone who just initially has discovered that they have melanoma? It's a very individualized approach. It's going to be different for each person based on their unique uh, characteristics. Um, this is part of what drives many people to come to the James to figure out um, what is the optimal approach, whether we use medication first to shrink things down and make it more manageable, or whether the best thing to do is try to remove all the melanoma that we can with an operation. You mentioned immunotherapy. Can you explain what that is and how it works? Immunotherapy is a really unique type of medication which upregulates a patient's own immune system. So it's the own, their own immune system which is actually directly attacking uh, the cancer cells. So the way I like to explain it is think of a test tube where you have traditional chemotherapy in cancer cells and the traditional chemotherapy directly attacks those cancer cells and kills them. With immunotherapy, it's completely different. If you put immunotherapy into a test tube along with cancer cells, nothing happens. The reason is, is because the immunotherapy is stimulating the immune system to do the heavy lifting of recognizing the cancer cells as bad and then attacking those cancer cells. So chemotherapy is really not an optimum way to treat melanoma? For most patients, chemotherapy is not the most effective way to treat advanced melanoma. And this immunotherapy is the next way or what you're learning is a better way to treat this melanoma. Right now, immunotherapy is essentially considered the standard of care for many patients with advanced melanoma, and we're trying to improve upon how we use immunotherapy in patients. We think that the influenza vaccine may actually make our immunotherapy more effective than if you use that medication alone. And right now, immunotherapy is typically not used in patients with early stage melanoma, and an important part of our research looks at using the influenza vaccine in patients with early stage melanoma as a form of immunotherapy. So the flu vaccine is for the flu. How did you ever come to discover that it may be effective in treating cancer patients, especially melanoma cancer patients? Right, I know it seems like a stretch. So there are really two different types of research that went into how I designed this study. Uh, the first uh, looked at patients being treated for lung cancer in the hospital and divided patients into those who had received a flu vaccine previously versus who had not and found that patients who had received a flu vaccine actually had a better lung cancer outcome. The second set of research really was looking at laboratory experiments where tumors were being directly injected with influenza vaccine and seeing that those tumors generally would melt away uh, when they were directly injected. How long have you been conducting this research? We've been conducting this research for about a year so far and we think that we probably have another year worth of enrollment. We're about halfway through 
and we're very thankful for the patients who have uh, chosen to be part of our clinical trial and eager to work with those who might consider it in the future. What are you finding at this point? Our results are still too early to definitively tell. Um, all of our results will be um, more conclusively wrapped up when we have finished enrolling and treating all of our patients. But so far from a safety and side effect profile, we're very encouraged that patients are reporting very minimal uh, side effects that's not delaying their overall melanoma care. So what is the goal then? Quicker, better, more effective treatment for melanoma patients? All of those things are really uh, part of our goals, especially in, um, in our early stage melanoma patients. The opportunity to see some form of immunotherapy, even in the form of a uh, flu vaccine, would be a big win because right now traditional immunotherapy is not approved for use in early stage melanoma patients. So that would be a huge advance. And then if we can further improve upon how effective immunotherapy is by adding the influenza vaccine for our more advanced patients, then I think all of those would be in incredibly beneficial. In the long run, how long would it take for this to be approved to be used for patients with melanoma? Right now it is just approved for a flu vaccine, correct? Right now we have um, approval for the flu vaccine to be used on an investigational level okay. uh, with, within this specific protocol. If this specific research is successful, then we would perhaps move on to more uh, larger, uh, wider trials that would include patients from other hospitals around the country to confirm those results and uh, perhaps uh, work through the Food and Drug Administration to get this approved for more routine use in the setting of melanoma. But that, that would be probably at least three or four years down the line. What's next for melanoma research? We have a variety of clinical trials that um, are enrolling patients with melanoma or other skin cancers. And this is one project in a much larger group that we can offer to patients both with early stage melanoma and more advanced melanomas that as a whole, we think will advance um, our ability to uh, provide great outcomes for our patients here at the James. Thank you for sharing your research with us and thank you for the research that you do, Dr. Contreras. Thank you very much. And thank you for joining us for Health Talks.